I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven, and came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him. And there was given him dominion and glory, and a kingdom, that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away, and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. It's unfortunate that despite the Most High pouring out His Spirit onto all flesh, as well as revealing deep truth to the world, there's a large population of Israelites and Gentiles that don't know the God of Israel. Messiah worship is deep-rooted in the beast system as well as in the awakening. Despite many people worshiping the Messiah, the Gentiles as well as the Israelites don't know the true Messiah. There's a large population of people worshiping and serving the God of this world. The Messiah many people have accepted as their Lord and Savior in the beast religion is not the same Messiah that was sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The scripture in the book of Matthew informs us that the Messiah was sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Today, if you tell the people who follow religion this truth, they won't understand. The strong delusion put on them by the Most High for their denial of the truth won't allow them to understand the truth that could help make them free. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. The workers of iniquity in religion, as well as in the false awakening, will find ways to twist the scriptures to support their abominations. If only the people would read the scriptures for themselves, in addition, allow the scripture to speak. The workers of iniquity in the beast religion have indoctrinated the people to believe the wicked in all flesh could be saved. That is what the religion called Christianity have convinced the people who follow the religion to believe. Rome have replaced the Israelites with spiritual Israel. They replaced the Most High with a man God that is also the Messiah sent to sacrifice himself for the world. Israelites, it's important for you to get into the scriptures and allow the Holy Spirit to lead you into all truth. If you allow religion to direct your steps, religion will lead you onto the broad road that leads to destruction. Enter ye in at the straight gate. But wide is the gate. And broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Israelites, it's important that you find the narrow road that leads to life. Only the Most High, the Father, can help you find the narrow road. Despite numerous prophecies are being fulfilled, many people that proclaim to serve the God of Israel cannot see the scriptures being fulfilled. The God of this world have blinded their eyes with religious doctrines. When the Most High woke me out of my slumber several years ago, I thought I would find a large population of like-minded Israelites and strangers in the awakening that decided to return to the Father. In addition, I thought I would find Israelites and strangers that have humbled themselves, repented, and seeking the face of the Father. I soon realized that wasn't the case. The population of Israelites that have truly repented and returned to serve the Father in the spirit and in truth is a small population amongst the Israelites that are in the awakening. Majority of the Israelites in the awakening are not repenting nor seeking the face of the Father. They settled for the Roman God and the Savior of this world. Instead of getting to know the God of Israel, some Israelites continue to worship and serve the idols of the heathens. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. As the Most High taught me about the world of duality, I noticed that there were two awakenings. Remember, the Satans have imitated everything the Most High have done. To the remnant of Israelites and strangers that have truly repented and returned to the Father, I hope you're starting to recognize the two awakening. Just as there are two messiahs in the Bible, 
multiple gods in the Bible and two chosen groups of people in the Bible. The prophesied awakening is not exempt from Satan imitating everything the Most High does. The awakening is supposed to be the people of the Most High humbling themselves, repenting from their sins, and returning to serve the Father in the Spirit and in truth. To the remnant, the time has come for you to differentiate the awakening the Most High, the God of Israel, have proclaimed with the false awakening that is an extension of Christianity whose foundation is rooted in the mother harlot, the Roman Catholic Church. Israelites, time is of the essence. Ask the Most High, the Father, to give you eyes to see and ears to hear. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. But this people's heart is waxed gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed lest at any time they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. The false awakening is overpopulated with Israelites and strangers that operate in the flesh. They cannot recognize spiritual things. That is why the truth offends them. The Israelites in the false awakening that have come to the realization of their true identity are just as lost as the rest of the world. Satan's deceptions continue to deceive them. If they would allow the Holy Spirit to lead them into all truth, as well as allow the Holy Spirit to tell them the things to come, Satan's deceptions wouldn't have a stronghold over their life. I notice how some Israelites in the false awakening are more religious than the Israelites trapped in the house of bondage, the church. The spirit of pride is destroying many Israelites, causing them to speak evil against truth they don't understand. They will perish from the doctrines of Rome they have accepted as truth. But these, as natural brute beasts, made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of the things that they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. To the remnant, don't become a part of the Israelites in the false awakening that are proud and boastful about their bloodline. The pride in them won't allow them to humble themselves. Instead of repenting and returning to serve the Father in the spirit and in truth, the self-righteous Israelites are condemning many people to hell. The false awakening is another division in Christianity. Some Israelites believe they would get a pass simply because they are Israelites. The scripture said in the book of Amos that all the sinners of my people will surely die. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say, The evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. If you believe your Israelite heritage will save you, the Satans have deceived you. True repentance must occur as well as the people of the Most High humbling themselves to find salvation. That is why the Most High is pleading with you and giving you the opportunity to return to Him. As the Father continued the process of reconciling His creation back to Him, take the time to get to know your God. Many of you don't know the Most High. A lot of Israelites are deceiving to believing they are serving the Most High, the Father, by worshiping and accepting Jesus as their Lord and Savior. The scripture said in the book of John that the Most High is looking for servants that will worship and serve Him in the Spirit and in truth. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. The scriptures said in the book of John that the Father, not the Messiah, is looking for his people to worship him in spirit and in truth. The verse didn't say to worship Jesus or Yahshua in the spirit and in truth. The scripture said worship the Father. The verse you just heard is coming from the mouth of the Messiah to the woman at the well. It's the same woman whom Yahshua said, you have had five husbands. The woman said to Yahshua that her fathers worship on the mountain they were located at. The woman was confused unto why Yahshua said, Jerusalem is the place where men should worship. 
Yeshua went on to inform the woman that a time is coming when you won't be able to worship in Jerusalem or the mountains. But the hour have come and now is when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, the salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Israelites, it was the Messiah saying to the woman, the hour hath come and now is when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Let the scripture speak. The scripture said, worship the Father. This came from the mouth of the Messiah. Many of you say you follow. Religion made you believe if you worship the Messiah, you're worshiping the Father. Even Yahshua said for you to worship the Father. The scripture in the book of John gave you clear instruction on who you should worship. If you're a true worshiper, then you are worshiping the Father in spirit and in truth. Nowhere in the verse does it say to worship Yahshua or Jesus in the spirit and in truth. The workers of iniquity and religion will add to the scriptures to get you to worship the God of this world. But if you listen to the scriptures and its instructions... The word of the Most High tell you who you should worship at this time. The Messiah said he's not looking for his own glory. Only the Father is looking to be worshipped and praised. And I seek not mine own glory. There is one that seeketh and judgeth. Israelites, it's important for you to understand that the Messiah doesn't get extra credit if you worship him. Nor does your worship of him does anything for him. It was the Messiah's obedience and loyalty to the Father by doing the will of the Father that gave him the honor, power, and position he has today. The word of God didn't become who he is because you have accepted him as your Lord and Savior, nor did he obtain the keys to the kingdom of heaven because you worshiped him. Matter of fact, he had the keys to the kingdom in heaven long before he became flesh. The word of God obtained favor from the Most High because of his loyalty and obedience to the Father. The Messiah served the Father. The Messiah came in the flesh to teach you how to serve the Father. Religion have corrupt the words of the Most High with the abominable Messiah and man God inserted into the scriptures to deceive you into worshiping the God of this world. The Roman doctrines have polluted the word of the Most High. That is why the Most High is pouring out the truth at this hour. If the truth was being told in religion, as well as in the beast system, there wouldn't be a need for a great awakening, as well as for the truth of the real gospel to be heard in all the kingdoms of this world. Daniel prophesied that in the last days, knowledge would increase. Israelites, allow the Most High to reveal his truth to you by his spirit. But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man, but the Spirit of God. To the Israelites who believe giving the glory of the Father to Yahshua or Jesus give them good standing with the Most High, you're wrong. There is more that is required of you. Faith without works is dead. You must be a doer of the word, not a hearer only. Israelites, if you knew the identity of the word of God, you wouldn't give the glory of the Father to the Messiah. Religion made sure to remove the identity of the Messiah to keep you in idolatry. There is a fine line between idolatry and worship. If you take heed to the words of the Most High, you would know that anything you put in first place or before the Most High is idolatry. Religion have taught you to put the Messiah before the Most High, the Father. That is why many of you worship the Messiah. If the Romans' way was right, the Most High wouldn't be pleading with you to return to him. 
Wherefore I will yet plead with you, saith the Lord, and with your children's children will I plead. Israelites, return to the Father. That is the reason the Most High has called you at such a time as this. Returning to the Father is not worshiping the Messiah, nor does returning to the Father is neglecting the teachings and examples set by the Messiah when he became flesh. The Messiah was trying to lead you back to the Father. The scriptures documented the Messiah's time on earth so that we can follow his example and be about our father's business. The Most High called for us to humble ourselves, repent, and return to him. The performance of trying to make oneself appear to be holy when you're not is only deceiving yourself. We all have fallen short of the glory of the Most High. That is why we must humble ourselves and allow the Most High to transform us by renewing our mind. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For multiple years, I have been crying out to my people, letting them know that there are two messiahs in the scriptures. I have done countless messages exposing the two messiahs in the Bible. The tale series on this channel have exposed the two messiahs as well as the world of duality. Israelites, it's important for you to understand duality. The Satans use duality to erase you and your accomplishments in this world. Satan used duality to replace the Most High, the Father, and the Word of God that came in the Father's name. Satan wasn't afraid to use the very scriptures many of you trust with your life to deceive you. Enoch warned us that the heathens would alter the writings of our ancestors. The book of Maccabees warned that the heathens inserted their images into the scriptures. The book of Revelation in the Bible warned everyone not to tamper with the scriptures. And now I know this mystery, that sinners will alter and pervert the words of righteousness in many ways, and will speak wicked words and lie, and practice great deceits, and write books concerning their words. And laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life, and out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. What did Satan and his children do? They concealed the original manuscripts, published an authorized Bible to the world. The workers of iniquity combine their abominations with our scriptures in the authorized Bible. Flood the world with images of their likeness as the descendants of the nations in the scriptures, as well as disgracing the God of Israel with an abominable image that is supposed to represent the creator of all. The Satans and the children of disobedience are not afraid to alter the writings of our ancestors to fit their narrative because the fear of the Most High is not in them. Today, there are Israelites who follow the children of disobedience and accept and follow the ways of the heathens. The Most High warned his people about following the heathens. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Take heed to thyself that thou be not snared by following them. After that, they be destroyed from before thee, and that thou inquire not after their gods, saying, How did these nations serve their gods? Even so will I do likewise. In every generation, the Most High warned his people to learn not the ways of the heathens. As a stiff-necked people, the Israelites continued to imitate the ways of the heathens. Some Israelites made their enemies in the land of their captivity their allies. The Israelites' entire existence was always hostile to the very God they proclaimed to love and worship. Satan was able to deceive majority of Israelites to follow after him because a great majority of Israelites do not love the Most High, nor do they fear him. 
That is why the scripture said, they serve me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth, and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. The scripture said the fear of the Most High was taught to his people by the precept of men. Israelites, the time has come for you to allow the Holy Spirit to teach you and guide you. Even in the awakening, I can see the hostility the people of the Most High have for the God they proclaim to love and serve. Most Israelites are not aware of their treason because they don't know who they serve. They follow what is popular. They allow their flesh to guide them. A lot of Israelites and strangers are anti the Most High, the God of Israel. To fear the Most High is the beginning of wisdom. So many lack wisdom. Therefore, the fear of the Most High is not in his people. Israelites, wake up. The scriptures inform us in the book of Psalms that the heathens have conspired against us and have taken crafty counsel against us. The scriptures list the nations of people involved. The scriptures went on to say that they are confederate against you. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. But they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. I mentioned the scriptures in the book of Psalms about the nations conspiring against you for Israelites to realize that they have no friends or allies. You truly live among your enemies, regardless of how nice you believe the nations who hate you are. The Most High warned his people in countless scriptures about their enemies. In this generation, many Israelites seem to believe their enemies love them and support them. If your enemies love and support you, you wouldn't experience the same trauma in every generation. Recently, the president of Russia opened their vault and showed the world the graven images of the Messiah, the disciples, and many other biblical characters as indigenous black people. The world was shocked as well as some Israelites. Despite the Gentiles and some Israelites already knew this truth, everyone is surprised. Why? Israelites, everyone know that the Messiah and the 12 tribes of Israel are indigenous black people. The heathens know this. That is why they concealed it in their vaults. Rome have our original scriptures and countless artifacts hidden in their vaults. Are you going to be surprised when the Most High opened their vault and exposed what is hidden? The Most High have been exposing the mother harlot on this channel for years. Majority of my videos about Rome was either removed from YouTube or shadow banned. Regardless of their ban on this channel, everything hidden will be made manifest and every secret will be exposed. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. The Most High already told you the truth from the beginning. The Most High have been exposing the heathens and the beast system for years. I don't know why Israelites need to hear it from heathens to believe. Israelites, it's you that is rejecting, disobeying, and don't want to listen to your God. It's Israelites that want to rebel against the God of their fathers to follow after pagans and their idols. The Most High have been telling you the truth for years. It's his people that have been ignoring him. Russia revealing their graven images of the Messiah exposes the character of the wicked people we live among. They have concealed this from you for years. Suddenly, they want to tell you the truth. Truth that a great majority of you already knew. Wake up, Israelites. The heathens are not your friends nor your allies. They conspired against you to cut you off from being a people. Remember, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? The best thing that came from the Russians revealing their graven images of the Messiah as a black person to help me show you how you have been serving the God of this world. 
as well as how the heathens made you forge an evil covenant with Satan through the Messiah that came in his own name. When you accepted the Messiah that came in his own name as your Lord and Savior, an evil covenant was established. Israelites, it's through the evil covenants established in religion, Satan have many of you bound spiritually. The idols of the heathens have blinded your eyes so that you cannot see the Most High and the Word of God in the Scriptures. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Israelites, as long as the Satans have established evil covenants with you, they will control your every move. The Most High will honor every covenant. That is why the Father told you not to make any covenants with the heathens and with their gods. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor with their gods. Israelites, that is why it's important for you to break the evil covenants established with the God of this world through religion. The awakening is overpopulated with Israelites who haven't break the evil covenants they made with the Messiah that came in his own name in religion as well as with the God of this world, when they were members of a church whose foundation is rooted in the mother harlot, the Roman Catholic Church. If you don't break the evil covenants and allow the Most High to renew your mind, the truth will be hidden from you. That is why some Israelites come to this channel. They become offended by the truth because their eyes are closed. Israelites, changing the image of the Messiah is not the only alterations the heathens have done. Rome presented to you an image of a white European man that is supposed to be a representation of God and the word of God. They called the sun God, Jesus. For multiple generations, they have paraded their graven image as the savior of the world and God in the flesh. The image, the name, and him declaring himself to be God in the flesh does not correspond with the scriptures. This man, God, have the same attitude and mindset with the fallen angel that wanted the glory of the Father for himself. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Israelites, everything about the Messiah God presented to you by the Romans doesn't align with the scriptures. The Roman God character in ways is parallel with Satanel, the chief Satan. Watch my video about the unmasking of the beast system and the unmasking of the rulers of the darkness of this world to know about the principalities that rule this earth. If the Roman God Messiah doesn't match the character and the ways of the word of God that was sent in the Father's name, it's safe to say that the Roman Messiah God is an idol. Israelites, the Messiah given to you by your enemies in the beast religion is the Messiah that came in his own name. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. Jesus is not the Messiah's name. Joshua ben Joseph is the name of the word of God when he was flesh. The workers of iniquity that proclaim that Jesus is a translation issue, why not call him Joshua? The reason they called the false Messiah Jesus, to get you to call on another God. When you cry to another God, the Most High the Father can't help you. The Romans can easily change the name from Jesus to Yahshua or Joshua, but they don't. Why? They want you to cry out to idols to keep you in sin and to prolong their time on earth. I am a daughter of Zion called V. If I post a picture of myself as a white woman called Madison, will I be considered a daughter of Zion? Would an image of a white woman be a good representation of me? Absolutely not. If your name is David and I called you Stephen, would you answer me? You would correct me and tell me your name. Likewise, Israelites, the graven image of the Roman God called Jesus does not represent the Most High, the Father. That is another God. Jesus doesn't represent the God of Israel and the Israelites. Jesus represents the Romans and he is the King of the Jews. And Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross, 
and the writing was, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. If the Romans altered the image of the Messiah and called him by another name, in addition, they concealed the true scriptures and put out an authorized version that benefits them. Do you honestly believe they would honor the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High? How many laws have they broken by creating a graven image, altering the scriptures, and removing the name of the Most High and the Messiah from the scriptures? Earlier, I said the image of the Messiah is not the only thing they have altered and tampered with. The doctrines of devils that came from Rome is also an abomination. None of their doctrines correspond with the scriptures. To the Israelites that don't understand me when I say there's no difference between white Jesus and black Jesus, if you continue in the doctrines of Rome, it's the same idol in black face. The doctrines from Rome are doctrines of devils. Sin is transgressing the laws of the Most High. The disciples of Jesus teach that the laws are done away with. The God of Israel gave his people laws, statutes, and commandments to follow in every generation. How can the Messiah that is supposed to be a representation of the Father in the earth teach the laws are done away with? How could his beloved son that is the representation of righteousness be lawless? Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. The Trinity doctrine is false. The rapture doctrine is false. The God in the flesh doctrine is false. The laws being done away with are false. Spiritual Israel are false. The old covenant is fulfilled doctrine is false. And countless other doctrines from Rome are false. What truth have they taught you? That is why I say upholding the doctrines of Rome while worshiping the Messiah is still in error. There's no difference between white Jesus and black Jesus if race is the only change. You have to let the Most High renew your mind for the Most High to lead you to the correct Messiah that will raise you up at the last day. No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me. Draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. The Messiah that came in the Father's name said to you that no one can come to him unless the Father who sent him draws you to him and he will raise you up at the last day. Did you hear what the Messiah said? You can't come to him unless the Father who sent him draw you to him. This explains why so many Israelites don't know the true Messiah. They know Jesus and black Jesus. Rome taught you that you have to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. That is how you will be saved by accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior. The scripture in the Bible said you can't come to the Messiah unless the Father draws you to him. Who are you going to believe, Rome or the scriptures? Some people believe they can go to the Messiah at any time and say, I now accept you as my Lord and Savior and they will inherit the coming kingdom. The doctrine of accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior is for all people who have accepted the Messiah that came in his own name as their God. The Israelites who serve the Father know that they have the Messiah as long as they serve the Father. That is why the remnant are seeking the face of the Father and getting closer to the Father. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners. And purify your hearts, ye double-minded. The Most High said, Return to me, and I will return to you. Israelites, have you noticed outside of sin, there are no restrictions preventing you from drawing near to the Father. The Father said, Draw near to me, and I will draw near to you. When it comes to the Messiah, the Messiah said, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw you to me. In another passage in the scriptures where the Messiah that came in his own name is speaking, the false Messiah said, no one can come to the Father but through him only. The Father said, if you draw near to him, he will draw near to you. The Father said, if you look for him with all of your heart, you will find him. And ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart. And I will be found of you, saith the Lord. And I will turn away your captivity, and I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places whither I have driven you, saith the Lord. And I will bring you again into the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. We have to let the scriptures speak. 
The Most High promised to bring us back from captivity and be found by us if we seek him with all of our heart. Israelites, you have to learn to differentiate the Messiah sent by the Most High, the Father, with the false Roman invention. Alterations like no one can come to the Father but by me only is a stumbling block to get many to accept the false Messiah as their Lord and Savior, in addition to establish an evil covenant. Israelites, don't trade your glory for the lesser. Make sure you are upholding and following the teachings from the Messiah that came in the Father's name. So many in the awakening are still following after the Messiah that came in his own name. The lawless Messiah is who many Israelites worship and serve in the beast system as well as in the false awakening. A great majority of Israelites continue to reject the Messiah that came in the Father's name. The doctrine from Rome have blind their eyes. The Most High have been trying to draw his people to the Messiah that came in his name. Many are rejecting him. He came unto his own and his own received him not. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. He was oppressed, and he was afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb, so he openeth not his mouth. Israelites, don't continue in the sins of our ancestors who reject the Messiah because they couldn't understand prophecy in the scriptures. The Most High is pouring out truth at this time. Anything you want to know, the Most High will reveal it. Don't let Satan's voice through the mouths of deceived Israelites and false prophets cause you to reject the Messiah that came in the Father's name. The Messiah you worship and accepted in religion, and some of you continue to worship and give the glory of the Father to, he is not the Messiah that came in the Father's name. Rome have lied to you. The heathens know who you are. They also know your God. Because salvation wasn't given to them, they want to make sure you don't receive salvation as well. That is why they conspired against you, hide truth in their secret vaults, and gave you another God to worship. They told you your God is made in their image and likeness. While the Most High, the Father said to you in the scriptures that you were made in his image. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Rejecting the true Messiah that came in the Father's name will cause you to be rejected before the Most High by the Messiah. The Messiah that came in the Father's name said, The Father's will is that everything the Father has given to him, none will be lost, but he will raise it up at the last day. And this is the Father's will which hath sent me, that of all which he hath given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. The scripture said, nothing, meaning the people the Most High gave to the Messiah, none will be lost. This verse corresponds with the other verse that said, no one can come to the Messiah unless the Father draws you to him. We hear the Messiah saying everything the Father gave to him, he won't lose none, but raise it up on the last day. Israelites, do you still believe Rome when they say you have to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior to be saved? The word of the Most High said otherwise. As you can see, the lawless Messiah that came in his own name is very prideful and declare himself to be the Most High. While the Messiah that came in the Father's name always put the Father first and tell us the will of the Father for his people. There's a big difference between the lawless Messiah and the Messiah that came in the Father's name. Anyone who served the Most High in the spirit and in truth would have nothing in common with the spiritual wickedness in high places. What do light have in common with darkness? Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? There is a lot of Israelites that say they know the Messiah that was sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. My question to you, how did you meet him? 
Did the father draw you to him or did religion introduce you to the savior of this world? If religion introduced you to the Messiah, you have accepted as your Lord and savior. You know the Messiah that came in his own name. Israelites, this is why it's very important for you to start over and allow the Most High to transform you by renewing your mind. The Most High is giving you the time to repent and return to Him in the awakening. Don't waste the time He's giving you. The scripture said in the book of Matthew, Not everyone who say, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. The Messiah went on to say in that scripture, everyone who does the will of his father that is in heaven will enter the kingdom. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my father, which is in heaven. Everything about the Messiah that was sent in the father's name always direct you back to the father. I can't say the same for the Messiah that came in his own name. The Messiah said in the verse you just heard, everyone who does the will of my father will enter the kingdom. How many of you know the father? If you know the father, you wouldn't give the glory of the father to the Messiah. How do you follow the Messiah if you don't follow his instructions concerning his father? Most Israelites stop at Messiah and worship Messiah. What is the will of the father for your life? The following verse in the book of Matthew said, Many will say, Lord, Lord, have I not prophesied in your name? Have I not cast out devils in your name? Have I not done wonderful works in your name? Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? We have a large population of Israelites in and out of the awakening, believing they are doing a lot of great works in the Messiah's name. There are some Israelites in the awakening who slander their own people, persecute their own people for Yahshua and Jesus. There are some Israelites who pray to Jesus and worship Jesus. Are you sure what you're doing is for the Messiah that came in the Father's name or for the other Messiah that came in his own name? I have witnessed a lot of wickedness in the so-called awakening. The Israelites' wicked ways showed me many are doing works in the name of the Messiah that came in his own name. The next verse in the book of Matthew document the Messiah's response to the people who believe they are doing the will of the Father. The Messiah said, depart from me, I never knew you. The Messiah went on to say, depart from me, you who do iniquity. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Over three billion people in this world believe they are serving the Messiah that came in the Father's name. Three billion is massive. If three billion people in this world truly followed the Messiah that came in the Father's name, the gates of hell would not prevail against anything or anyone in this world. The scripture said it takes two people to come in agreement and anything they ask for, it shall be done. Again, I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my father, which is in heaven. What will happen if three billion people come in agreement? If the three billion were serving the God of Israel and following the teachings of the true Messiah, life on earth would be different. I guess the 3 billion is asking for something else if majority of these believers are being destroyed in the B system. We have people who have been worshiping Messiah and serving the Messiah for 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, and 3 years. The enemy continue to have a strong hold over their life. Why is that? Nothing have changed for these righteous people who love the Messiah. Could it be that you have been deceived into serving the Messiah that came in his own name? Three billion people is definitely not the narrow road, but the broad road that leads to destruction. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Many Israelites in and out of the awakening believe they know the Messiah that was sent by the Father. My question to you, does the Messiah that came in the Father's name know you? There's a difference. 
In the scriptures you just heard of the Messiah saying, depart from me, I never knew you. The Messiah doesn't know most of the people that proclaim to know him. The Most High revealed the identity of the true Messiah on this channel about two years ago. Some Israelites had a meltdown. They couldn't take it. The few on this channel that knew is a very small group of Israelites. Again, will I ask you, do the Messiah know you? The Messiah said in another scripture in the book of Matthew, prepare for the devil and his angels. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, depart from me, ye cursed into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. In the previous message, I ask you if you are ready to be redeemed. I ask you, do you know your God? This week I am asking you, does the Messiah know you? If I ask you who is the Messiah, will you point to white Jesus or Jesus in black face? Who is the word of God that became flesh? He existed from the very beginning. He has a name before religion removed his name from the scriptures and replaced his name with titles. Who is he? Does he know your name? Are you a part of his flock? Is your name written in his book of life? The Messiah said, my sheep knows my voice and they follow me. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. Israelites, the real awakening is getting intense. We are not in religion anymore where we can rely on demons, workers of iniquity, and idols to do all the work for us. We truly have to pick up our cross and follow the Messiah back to the Father. We don't have time to play games. Where you spend eternity is not a joking matter. The Messiah has the keys to the kingdom. It's very important that you know who he is. The Messiah that came in the Father's name is not popular. The world have rejected him. The popular Messiah that is accepted by the beast religion and beast culture is not the same Messiah that came in the Father's name. Israelites, don't spend eternity in the lake of fire with the Satans. You spend enough time suffering on this earth. Don't suffer in eternity. Repent and return to the Father. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him. Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, and inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world.